Mallorca. So are you welcome back to my channel if it is your first time here welcome how are you if you are a subscriber a sugar cube of mine new or old welcome back I'm super excited because this is the first makeup video of 2018 for me and I thought what better time to work with products from a brand that I genuinely love and appreciate and it is black radiance shout out to my t-shirt and I thought it was a very appropriate time to wear this t-shirt and speak on some subjects really quick. I won a humongous giveaway that Black Radiance hosted last year, which was their Black Beauty Matters. So a lot of these products were sent to me for my contest winnings and other products that I use, I purchased myself. I'll annotate which one is which in the video. Now, as far as the Black Beauty Matters campaign, that title and this whole campaign does not negate beauty from other ethnicities. Not at all. I just want to get that out of the way. Make that perfectly clear. The Black Beauty Matters campaign is really all about representation. Even though I am of lighter complexion, I consider myself a woman of color. And for people of color, we are not equally represented in the cosmetic industry. If you really want to be blunt and have an example, we can talk about the Tarte Shape Tape Foundations. They release 15 foundations, two different formulas with only three shades for people of color. That should not be. It is 2018. We are all about inclusiveness and that is what the Black Beauty Matters campaign is all about. And this t-shirt was free with my order. Um, my birthday was January 7th. If you guys didn't know, I'm a January baby. So I treated myself and purchased some of the products that you see me using here in this video. Now, I really, really like this. The eyes are very simple. I use a very bold lippy. I did purchase one of the lippies, their new release lippies. And I just didn't feel like it went with this look, but I'll still show it to you guys. So anyway, enough rambling. If you guys would like to see how I achieved, I achieved this look right here using Black Radiance products, please stay tuned. With my eyebrows already done, I used my Black Radiance Perfecting Eyebrow Perfecting Pomade in Blackish Brown. And I absolutely love this product. I'm obsessed with this as I started using it. I'm going to hop straight into the eyes and take this Berry Vibes palette. This is a new purchase, and I'm going to be taking that peanut butter shade I pointed to right there and fluff that in my crease for a transition shade like so. Then I'm going to be going into this lilac shade, point to the right shade, girl, there we go. And I'm going to take a slightly smaller brush and fluff that around in my crease. I was pleasantly supplied, supplies, surprised with this eyeshadow palette because eyeshadows was super pigmented and I was very very happy about that. We're going to be taking this very cool tone, it's almost like a stone gray. I'm going to use that with the same small brush to add some dimension to my eye, the crease, and the outer corner. Like so. Making sure to blend. And we'll be taking this very pink, almost like a pinky pale champagne shade and I'm going to be putting that onto my mobile eyelid. This eyeshadow look was very simple. I decided to do my liner and lashes off camera just because I haven't done liquid liner in a very long time. So I'm going to be taking this liquid liner and I'm so smart I should have had the eye lashes in you know the book when I did the product shot. But they're already on my eyes so I took those lashes that are missing and put them on my eyes. If you are frequent here on my channel you know the Black Radiance True Complexion Shine Control Primer is my staple shout out to me for getting it in my nose yay and then i'm going to be rubbing that all over my face making sure not to get the primer in my eyebrows this is a new purchase this is a light to medium cc corrector palette i'm going to be taking this peachy shade it's honestly a very very coral shade but it is their peach and i'm going to be using that to color correct any dark spots i want to cover up like so and this product is very creamy this is also a new purchase and I'm just going to apply it with my finger and then blend it out with my Baby Real Technique sponge, which you see me doing here. They have concealers, guys. They call it um, HD Correctors. 
but I'm taking the shade light to medium and I'm applying it on my face just in case the uh, liquid foundation that I have from them isn't too pigmented I was a little nervous but I'm using that to apply and then I'm taking the shade yellow to apply underneath my eyes you guys when I tell you this is so bright and you know your homegirl applied so much it's so bright you only need a little bit they're very pigmented and they blend out very well both of these are new purchases and I'm very happy this is my color perfect oil free liquid makeup in the color butterscotch this was sent to me I I do feel like it's not 100% my shade. It does oxidize a little pink on me, but I made it work. Like I said, um, those those concealers, their new concealers, which they call the HD correctors, they're super pigmented. Look what happens when I blend out my under eye. Like I was so not ready. Kevin Hart voice and everything. It was so bright, and I'm already a light girl, but that that was some real under eye brightness. That was like almost too bright. Like I'm pretty sure airplanes probably saw me tight bright. I had to I had to tone that down. A couple, a couple knocks. But I'm blending it out like so. I'm trying to tone it down by putting that light to medium concealer on underneath my eyes. Toned it down a little bit, but not as much as I wanted to. But I was like, you know what, I'm gonna come back to that. So I'm taking my light to medium cream contour palette and pointing to that very well, well used shade. I'm gonna apply it to my forehead with a brush, blending it out immediately since this foundation is super matte. And then I'm going to hit the sides of my cheeks, add some color back into my face because I really thought I was matching my background, like so. And then I'm going to apply it kind of sloppily on the sides of my nose. I was going to clean it up anyway. So I'm just blending it out and taking whatever foundation that was left on the back of my hand and putting that down the center of my nose to bring back some structure. And then I'm going to be taking, they call it the Sculpt Shade in the um, Cream Contour Kit, but it's honestly my skin tone and that really helped took, take down rather the under eye highlight. Black Radiance has a loose banana powder, guys. I'm so excited. This is a new purchase also, and I'm very, very pleased with this product. I do wish they would release a translucent loose powder. I know they have a pressed one, but I'm using that to clean up my contour as well as set the highlighted areas. Here I'm setting my face with my face powder. It's not black radiance, therefore I did not show it. Just setting my face like so and examining it. Now taking my, what shade did I use? The contour shade. I plopped it down on my forehead, kind of hard, and I put a lot of product in one spot. <laughs> but I blended it out and you see me doing so. Hitting up the cheeks, bringing some color back into my face like so. Yes, guys. I'm actually very happy with how this turned out. And for all this to be super... Now, hold on a second. You see this blush? I always warn you guys not to use a lot. And look what I did. Look what I did. I put so much blush on that one cheek. I was like, you know what? Whatever. Whatever. It's going to photograph nice nicely. I'm not even worried about it. You see this liquid gold goodness? This is my handmade multi-purpose makeup elixir in the color Giza. She is a very true like Egyptian gold. I'm going to use her as a base for my Black Radiance highlight, which I'm going to go into later. I could have left it like this, but I wanted to incorporate as many Black Radiance products as I can in this tutorial. So I'm going in with their Artisan Baked Bronzer in Flawless, which is a highlighter to really, to really give you guys that beaming glowy boom shakalaka highlighter sprayed my face and now I'm going in with my lip color this is such a fluorescent purple it's called living in violet and I absolutely love it that's why I kept the eyes kind of subtle because I wanted to go in with this pow really really bright purple lipstick and that is the finished look you guys thank you guys so much for rocking with me if you have any recommendations for looks color requests please leave them down in the comment section down below have you guys tried any of these products i want to hear from you uh, again thank you so much for watching like this video subscribe to be a part of the fam and i'll see you guys in my next video everybody stay blessed